welcome back everybody to pop culture conspiracy i'm your host t how are y'all doing today and in this video i'm going to be talking about mark zuckerberg in talks to buy fashion brand supreme before i hop in please like share and subscribe turn on your notifications and let's talk in the comments y'all not surprised to see this headline y'all know nothing surprises me these days but this is just another thing that's got me like mm, yep saw that coming because I've already done a video talking about fashion brands. I told you guys about how conglomerates like Kering and LVMH move, that the fashion industry is one of the most occult industries on the face of this earth. They move really, really funny. They've got their own, you know what I'm saying? They got their own thing going on and they are like, they are definitely gatekeepers and you definitely have to like go through them if you want to go up levels you're not going to be able to move within this matrix and within this pyramid scheme without getting initiated by the fashion industry that being said i think what mark zuckerberg is doing is following the elon musk blueprint elon musk used to be a mega nerd too he used to not be the most attractive guy you know used to look like kind of a weirdo wasn't really that popular and then he ran into some money and then he started getting like all this plastic surgery, changed his whole style, changed his whole swag, start hanging out with Kanye and like Trump and like all these other people, start hanging out, you know, with like some popular people. And now he's well liked. Now people, you know, believe in him. Now people rock with him. Now people are buying his Tessies and you know what I'm saying? Like Elon Musk has quite the following. Like he owns Twitter now, like He's definitely on the right wing agenda, you know, side and he's getting the, you know, the praises of the people. And Mark Zuckerberg was the same type of dude, highly educated guy, um, started Facebook, got a lot of money, but just had no swag, no likability. People have accused this dude of being, you know, not even human. And people have repeatedly talked about how he's ugly, weird looking, you know, again, we can't relate to him. And now all of a sudden he's got like this whole like glow up. He's like grown his hair out. He looks like he's got a tan, got a whole new wardrobe. Looks like he found a stylist and now he's wearing chains. I'm like, what the hell? And y'all know white men didn't put chains on. Black men wear chains. Like that's black culture or it's been very popular in urban culture. Latinos and black people are really into like the chain culture again urban anything that's urban and ethnic we're doing like again the street wear you know the growing your hair out and jewelry and stuff like that and here comes here comes Zuckerberg wanting to you know fit in with that and I just feel like that's all a part of his scheme to get people to like him more trust him more and want to follow his lead and I'm saying all that because y'all know Meta has been pushing um, the Oculus and the Oculus is like that thing that goes over your eyes to put you in the metaverse again like he Mark Zuckerberg completely rebranded Facebook to Meta because he's got like this metaverse thing going on and what did he say in the Meta commercial he's like hey what's the dress code in the metaverse and it's Balenciaga and we already know um, how Balenciaga gets down so these people are like being very, um, you know, outward and obvious with what they're doing. Now he's trying to like buy Supreme. Who does, who likes Supreme? The urban community, like black people like Supreme and like people who want to, again, like follow streetwear culture, hype beast culture, you know, swag culture, like they buy Supreme. Why do you think Louis Vuitton did a collab with Supreme? Because I've been telling y'all LVMH has you know, ties or they have a, excuse me, they have a vested interest into black people because we spend money on all this stuff. We love fashion. We love, you know, anything that is again, like hip and in. So we made Supreme popular and we've made a lot of streetwear brands popular. We've made Hypebeast um, culture popular. And here comes Zuckerberg like wanting in on it because these people have an agenda to chip you. I have repeatedly told you guys this with everything with this LGBT, everything with this rainbow stuff, like everything with this metaverse and even Apple with the Vision Pro and 
it's all a part of the same agenda. The blue party, the red party have the same agenda. They want to chip yo ass. Elon Musk is trying to release these like Optimus like robots and trying to get you chipped. And Zuckerberg is trying to like issue you into the metaverse and like sell you the Oculus. So both parties, both sides are like working really, really hard. Um, I've told you guys before with some of the like purge, the purge um, film franchise programming, it's them setting you up to be comfortable with having new founding fathers. And then the new founding fathers in the new America, billionaires will be the boss. Now, billionaires are already running this country behind the scenes. They're, you know, they lobby through politicians. But after there's maybe no election, peep that. Peep how this is all being set up at the same time. This is the craziest election year we've ever had. I've already covered that with, you know, debates being have, being had at different times. Trump is a damn you know, they're trying to make him a convicted felon if he isn't already. Isn't he like a felon or something? Who cares? But they're doing this because they're trying to, again, degrade the political system. Because once they successfully break that down, it'll be a lot easier to do what? Usher in new founding fathers. Because people are people have already said, yes, we're so tired of, you know this system like we don't want to pick a president at all we just want to be single for a few years a lot of people don't want to vote for biden or trump a lot of people can't stand them both biden is senile trump is you know a damn felon and that has completely changed politics forever and so when you have people like um jeff bezos elon musk and zuckerberg Again, people who run this country because we buy so much of their products or we use so much of um, the software or the, you know, the technology that they've created that a lot of us are highly dependent on them. I get packages from Amazon throughout the week, just like most of the people listening to me. A lot of people are like, it's an addiction. Yes, because he has everything. So you guys wake up just how... A lot of these people, again, they own conglomerates. So we're losing our freedom of choice. And it's under the guise of, yeah, you have more options than ever, but you really don't. Because one person or just a few people own everything. Just like back in the gap, when um, in the industrial age, when you had like Rockefeller and Carnegie and a couple of other guys, like who, again, who owned um, majority of, you know, the, the products and services that are being offered and sold. So that's what's happening here with Zuckerberg. That's what I believe. I believe that this is not a coincidence. This is happening again during election season or it's being talked about during election season, a time where I've already said a lot of astrologers and my supposedly gifted spiritual people are saying they don't even see an election happening. A lot of people do not want to vote for Kamala. All the hype around her is manufactured. All the money that she's supposedly getting is manufactured and it's money laundering. It's not real. It's a psyop. Nobody really likes Kamala like that. And people really don't want her ass in office. This is why I'm telling you, I believe this is all being set up. So yes, we won't have an election. And they're going to usher in just a few billionaires who will run everything. Just like on the film, The Purge. You know, notice how with the political system, or excuse me, the justice system, people are doing more crime than ever and getting released. People are doing more crime than ever and not getting arrested, not getting proper persecution. They've already talked about defunding police. That's a setup. It's a setup. I don't really like cops like that either, but they are necessary because we cannot handle everything on our own. But if they, again, get you guys to defund them and take them away, well, what happened on the purge? Everybody was able to do crime for 12 hours with what? No supervision, no police. So just understand when a setup is happening in front of you and understand when a play is being made. What do you guys think? Let's talk in the comments. Bye.